Nicole Kyoto explores how artists are trailblazing a new future for the city. Kyoto's traditional beauty is communicated using cutting-edge technology. Artist and professor Tosa Naoko settled in Kyoto after a long sojourn abroad. She produces digital videos that share the stories and culture accumulated throughout history in this ancient capital. Her masterpieces focus on creating ikebana through video art, bypassing actual flowers. Tulsa dribbles a paint and glue mixture and alum beads on plastic film spread over audio speakers. A high-speed camera captures the images of the paint colors leaping skyward at 2,000 frames per second. This formative art, invisible to the naked eye, unfolds in three seconds, propelled by a blast of sound Tosa calls the sound of Ikebana. まあ、イケバナだと人と天地っていう足目取りの三角形を描くというような discovered the aesthetics of shapes through technology. Manipulating time, her works capture once-in-a-lifetime encounters with beauty. The sound of Ikebana has drawn acclaim both domestically and abroad. In 2017, it was projected onto 60 outdoor screens for a month in New York's Times Square. <laughs> そこの中にどうやって日本の新しい美を閉じ込めることができるか、存在させることができるかっていうのが非常に重要な私の表現すべきテーマになっていて。Tosa reinterprets Japanese culture through the lens of advanced technology. An air gun is used to strike flowers frozen in liquid nitrogen. That moment is preserved with a high-speed camera. The work is likened to the spirit of Ikebana as it echoes the majesty of life and the transience of beauty through decaying flowers. Learning from a template and daring to break away, this, in fact, is how Kyoto's early artists came to invent their own forms of beauty. Ken Ninji was constructed over 800 years ago. The Zen temple owns the masterpiece Wind God and Thunder God by 17th century Kyoto painter Tawaraya Sotatsu. In 2016, Tosa also presented artwork to Ken Ninji. One is an artwork made to resemble an Indian ink painting without the use of a single brush stroke. It uses 1,000 aerial photographs of clouds digitally processed into a single work. The piece mimics the landscape of an earthly paradise filled with mountains and rivers. The second is a photo of the 200-year-old tree that once thrived in the temple garden. 
この木はもちろんここにあの支え棒があったわけですよね、まあ、まずそれを取ってみたら逆にこう緊張感が増したんですね私が見た木はもうよいしょって感じで立ってたんですよね杖を抱えた賢者のような感じですそれをもっと力強くした Only an aged tree, which had survived many a year, could possess such an overwhelming life force, reminiscent of Kyoto's own legacy of beauty, both shared and preserved. I know, my food in the agent's view of the world, my kidney, my shoes, no one on the scale of the world, told you what is the name, my children, I'll have to be the one who made it. I'm not going to be. まあ、禅宗のお寺にこんなにキラキラなものを奉納するなんてっていうふうに思う声があったと思うんですでもそれが400年後国宝に指定されてるわけなんですあの作品っていうのは当時の最高の技術を使って最高の腕を持った俵や宗達が最高の作品に仕上げたわけなんです土佐さんも最新のテクノロジーを使ってこの作品を作りましたひょっとしたらこの作品が400年後とか500年後とかに文化祭になる可能性を秘めた作品でもあるとアートっていうのはそもそも歴史を超えた普遍性がないと意味がない個人から生まれたアート創造なんだけれどもそれが普遍性を持ってるところに行くっていうことが非常に重要でそういうものを持つことによってですねまあ、作品というものがアートというものが魅力を持つと思いますし多くの人の胸を打つんじゃないかなと思います。The sound of Ikebana artist Tosa Naoko announced the completion of her latest work in spring 2022. The work's theme is the future Buddha, Miroku Bosatsu. It is believed Biroko Bosatsu will appear in 5.67 billion years' time as our savior in Buddha's stead. The images lined up before Miroko Bosatsu symbolize our future selves. The sound of Ikebana video concept has been reconfigured using gravitational pull. Into 3D objects made of molten glass that was allowed to droop naturally. Art continues to metamorphose as the years slip by. 